Oh man, another canceled Star Wars game. Yes, you heard that right. We just got another Star Wars game canceled on us. Now, I was going to do a video on the news of a Mandalorian first-person shooter game being in development, but before I even got the chance to record that video and edit that video, just mere days later, the game was canceled. Yes, I've just been a little behind schedule in my videos as of recently, and, you know, I was gonna report on this maybe two, three days later after it came out when I had the time, but uh, that video never saw the light of day. My voice never graced the microphone for that news because by the time I sat down to do it, boom, tweet hit my phone that the game has been canceled indefinitely, and that it really wasn't even meant for that news to break at all. So if you're not caught up to date on this Mandalorian game situation, a few days ago it was announced that a first-person shooter Mandalorian game is in development and would release in the coming years. This game was going to be made by EA and follow a new Mandalorian through the galaxy, collecting bounties, going on quests, and it was going to be set in a first-person shooter sort of gaming style. And I was hyped to hear this because... What I was going to say in my video that I never got to make, unfortunately, is that this is something the fans have been wanting forever. You've seen the mock-ups of Mandalorian games. You've seen people begging for a first-person shooter, good Star Wars game. A lot of people want that bounty hunter-type game where you can just go across this open-world galaxy and collect bounties and be on your merry way and almost do what you want. And from the vague details we got from this game, it sounded like this was going to be the closest thing that we were going to get to that. So a lot of people were excited. A lot of people were hyped. I was very excited. I was really excited to make this video and get the news out. But just mere days later, the game was canceled and reported that that news really wasn't supposed to break anyways. EA did not have a lot of faith in the game and they wanted to shift their focuses on something else apparently. So this game has just been scrapped entirely. Not now, whether this stays in effect, uh, EA is very, like, finicky sometimes. The Star Wars games are just very finicky nowadays. There's this KOTOR news that has been going on forever. Is it canceled? Is it not? This Star Wars bounty hunter, like, outlaw game that was supposed to release this month, actually, has been pushed back. You know, the Star Wars Eclipse game that looks really cool has been pushed back to, like, 2027 or some shit like that. All these Star Wars games just seem to be in, like, heaps of trouble, and the people don't seem to know what's going on. The people working on them don't seem to know what they want to do with these games. The only promising thing that is coming from the Star Wars side of gaming is that we're going to get the Battlefront 1 and 2 originals on our current gen consoles, Um, which is cool. That's great. I'm really excited to play that. But these original games that are just like being delayed or just wiped off the face of the earth, something needs to be done about this because a lot of people were excited for this game. This is a game that a lot of people have been waiting for for a long time. And it looked like that this billion dollars and this shift that Bob Iger CEO of Disney, has done towards gaming from the recent investors meeting was actually going to be going in the right direction. But so far, they've taken a lot of fat L's on this. This game being canceled is a fat L. And like I said originally, going off this statement, is that we don't know if this is going to come back into fruition. Is another company going to pick this game up? Is EA going to realize, damn, we kind of made a mistake. We should probably just put this game back into development because the people want it. Or is this game actually gone for good and never going to see the light of day? It would be a shame if it didn't. But again, I don't want another back and forth like news breakage situation like we have for the KOTOR remake. But yeah, that's really all I have to say about this. A little bit of unscripted news for you guys here. Kind of a two-in-one video because part of me still wanted to put out the video, me getting excited about this game and then follow it up with the news it was canceled. But I knew I'd get some comments being like, bro, it's already been canceled. Like, you're not going to get this game. Like, what are you doing? Like, dislikes out the ass. So I just decided to kind of break both news beats in one video. Uh... You know, covering the whole past week of this game's odd surface on the internet, being announced very out of nowhere, then just being canceled days later and said that this news wasn't even supposed to be out there because we weren't going to follow through with the game regardless. I mean, I don't know. It's another messy gaming situation for Star Wars, and I hope they get this under wraps soon because it's kind of ridiculous. The only game I have hope for is this upcoming Battlefront remake. Uh, anything else that's announced, I just... 
I'm probably not going to pay much attention to. I'll report on it. I'll check it out. But if they say the release date's going to be uh, April 2025, I'm going to just assume that it's going to be canceled by then or pushed back a year because it's just ridiculous at this point. And yeah, that, that's really all I have to say, honestly. Um, there's that news for you guys. I'm sure you are as disappointed as I am. And I'm just going to cross my fingers and pray that Maybe someday they'll dig this game back up and give us what we deserve. That's all. I want to hear what you guys have to think about this down in the comments below. Were you excited for this game? Are you upset it's not coming out? Or do you just not give a fuck anymore? Kind of like me. Um, <laughs> also, make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.